does certainly sound like a good weekend to stay inside and try out a new recipe. And we have Chef Marlis Oliver of Mighty Fine Burgers, as well as Ken Schiller, the owner of the restaurant, with us this morning. And you're going to make fries, so dump it in we're for dump us. Those in. And we're going to talk to you. It takes two minutes to cook. Meanwhile, yeah. we'll talk a little bit about. First, tell us a little bit about your restaurant. Well, Mighty Fine Burgers, Fries, and Shakes is a new concept for our company. Uh, we've been in Austin actually for 13 years operating the Austin Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue. Okay. But uh, December 6th was a grand opening for Mighty Fine, and we've been serving great burgers, fries, and shakes now for six weeks. All right, is it going well? It's going really well. It's exceeded all our expectations. Okay, well, it sounds like a nice little diner, and you're the chef. Okay. <laughs> you didn't want to be called that. Right. You are our chef. So tell us a few things that we yeah. can find on the menu and tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing here. Sure. What we do is start with fresh Idaho potatoes and we drop them into a crinkle cut french fry machine. And we've got some pictures here of it. Uh, we actually found this machine in Chicago and it was $38,000 uh, to purchase the machine. But what we, you know, there's a lot of fresh cut fries out there and then there's the frozen crinkle cut. So what we did was married the two together. So we've got the only fresh cut crinkle cut fry that we know of at Mighty Fine. Well, for $38,000, you better have the only one. It, I told exactly. them I'm going to invent one that's cheaper and make a lot of money for right. it. <laughs> and you can come in and, and actually view us cutting the fries. We have a oh, prep neat. area where guests can come in and see us dropping the potatoes in, and it, it's really neat. So, fun and so what kind of oil are you cooking those in? We use only peanut oil. Um, we find the flavors is, is really good and, and creates a great product. Okay, and so we've got, how much time do we have left on this? Uh, we've got about 20 seconds left on okay. these. Wow, we'll that's these it. Out. And if you um, want to cook these at home, he was even saying, yeah. you can, you know, take some fries in just a pot with some hot oil yeah, in there and drop them in there. Yeah, put some peanut oil in and, and maybe a, a thermometer to temp, you know, the oil at 350, right around 350. And uh, that'd be great. Of course, you have to come to Mighty Fine to get them crinkled. Oh, uh, get them crinkled cut. So tell us real quickly, where are you located and how's business doing so far? Uh, we're located in the Arbor Walk Center, which is at the corner of North Mopac mm -hmm. and Breaker, a new center there right across from the Domain. We're open from 11 in the morning till 9 at night, Sunday through Thursday, uh, 10 o'clock, Friday, Saturday. And you can come by uh, anytime. We, throughout the day, are cutting fries every 15 minutes. All right. Well, Take it, sounds, a look at it sounds great. They'll be back in a little bit with another recipe, so stick around for us. Thanks, guys, for joining us this morning. Well, welcome back. We are with Chef Marlis Oliver again and Ken from Mighty Fine Burgers to talk about not only a new restaurant here in Austin, but also how to top off the perfect burger. That's right. You know, anybody can build a hamburger, but I'm going to show you how to make a Mighty Fine hamburger. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So we start with... Uh, Iceberg lettuce uh -huh. um, shredded, and we apply it to the bottom bun. These are uh, fresh buns that are toasted, so we'll put some lettuce on there. Uh, then we only use vine ripened tomatoes. Those so look very, very rich and red. Always fresh and great flavor. Now, you saw the crinkle cut french fries mm -hmm. a while ago. We also use uh, whole dill pickles and run them through the machine to make crinkle cut pickles. I just tasted one of the fries again. These are great fries. So the only place you're going to get a crinkle cut dill pickle is at Mighty Fine. All right. All right. <laughs> Reason enough to come. So uh, after the pickle, we put on uh, yellow onion, mm -hmm. uh, just a good robust flavor that complements the burger. Then uh, another trick we do is uh, the hamburger patty. By the way, we use uh, real American cheese. Um, before we put it on, we put the mustard uh, directly onto the meat. Mm. Uh, we feel it enhances the meat flavor. Opposed to putting it on the bread, on the which can make it mm -hmm. soggy. Right. Um, and then apply that, and uh, there you have a uh, Mighty Fine burger. Now, the meat that we use at Mighty Fine is all natural. Mm -hmm. So there's no preservatives, no antibiotics, uh, no hormones. So it's really good quality beef. We grind it fresh daily on site. Again, in that viewing window where you can see the French fry cutter, you can also see us forming patties and grinding meat. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like an interesting view. And again, you own Mighty Fine Burgers, and you were telling me why you wanted to start a Mighty Fine Burger place, because you said Austin didn't really have a, a place that everybody went to for there. That's exactly right. Uh, there's a lot of burgers in Austin, as there are in every city. But if you go and ask 
just randomly 10 people, you're very likely to get 10 different answers on where to go get mm -hmm. the best burger. You go to Fort Worth, for example, and you're going to hear Ken Cade's probably eight or nine of those 10 times. So we felt there's an opportunity to become that in Austin with Mighty Fine. And you own Rudy's also barbecue. Right, so right. you guys already have a reputation in town for a lot of favorite food around town. Well, we've, we've been around now for 13 years, so you can't eat barbecue every day. We needed a place to go get a good burger, too. <laughs> and they have milkshakes, which they make with bluebell ice cream and homemade chocolate syrup or That's strawberry right. syrup. So you can get it all for vegetarians. There's grilled cheese sandwiches. Thanks right. so much for joining us this morning, guys. I really appreciate it. Oh, thanks Thank for you. having us. Hey, no problem. Over to you, Mary. That is some mighty fine food to get us warm this morning, and we can use all the warmth we can get. We